Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and I live in Switzerland. Today we'll go together to the city named Basel. Basel is located in the northwest of Switzerland on the banks of the Rhine River near the French and German borders. Basel is one of the 10 best cities in the world to live in. It is a large industrial, commercial and economic center which is also rightfully called the cultural capital of Switzerland. If you are interested in walking around the city with me, then subscribe to my channel and keep watching this video. The Rhine divides the city into two parts – Greater Basel, Gross Basel in the southwest and Lesser Basel, Klein Basel in the northeast. The pedestrian historical city center is located on a hill in the territory of Greater Basel and we are going to walk along it. The Spalling Tower is one of the three surviving gates to the city of Basel. This gate is considered the most beautiful in Switzerland. The history of the gate began with a great earthquake in 1356, which turned old Basel into a heap of ruins. The construction of new houses began, which was surrounded by a protective wall with towers, six of which were gates, including Spalentor. The walls of the tower are 2 meters thick. Two lowered bars were used in the passage. Just above the gate is a carved coat of arms of Basel, made of sandstone and surrounded by two lions. The center of the old town is a marked platz, market square. The town hall, Rathaus, is located here. The town hall, made in the late Gothic style, stands out against the background of other buildings with its red color. The building was built at the beginning of the 16th century. In the 17th century, chancery was added. Around the same time, colorful murals of the building were made. At the beginning of the 20th century, a tower was added to the building. In the inner courtyard of the town hall, there is a statue of Minatius Plancus, the founder of the Basel. Currently, the town hall is used for meetings of the Grand Council, Legislative Branch, and the Council of State, Executive Branch. The main attraction of the city is the Muster Cathedral. Built of red sandstone and covered with colorful roof tiles, it has a complex building history that spans over 500 years dating back to 1019. Now the cathedral is a remarkable combination of Gothic exterior and Romanesque interior. The main facade is decorated with numerous sculptural groups, including the figure of St. George spearing a dragon. Münster's favorite photo sport is the Wettsteinbrücke Bridge, which also offers great views of the city. The bridge connects Gross Basel and Klein Basel. During construction, various projects were developed, including an option with a chain bridge. The biggest problem was the elevation difference between the banks of Rhine. As a result, the bridge, built in 1876, had a slope of 2.67%. The results sparked much debate in the newspapers and criticism of the bridge aesthetics. This is why the Wettsteinbrücke was nicknamed Slanting Bridge. In addition to the bridge, the two parts of the city are also connected by a steel cable along which the ferry moves. The movement occurs solely due to the force of the current due to which this type of transport doesn't cause any harm to the environment. The locals also enjoy the strength of the current while swimming in the Rhine. This is a great option to cool off on hot days, such as during your lunch break at work. It is only necessary to purchase a dry bag so that there is something to put the clothes in. The oldest bridge in the city is the Mittlerer Brücke. 
The first bridge on this site was built in 1225, partly from stone and partly from wood. The first bridge was often torn down by floods and damaged in winter by ice. The bridge, among other things, served as a place of execution. If a death sentence was pronounced, then the sentenced person was tied hand and foot, tied with a load and thrown into the water. If a person managed to survive until the water carries him about a kilometer to the sign of Han, then the punishment was cancelled. In connection with the growth of the city, it was decided to put a tram line across the bridge, which would require the expansion of the bridge. Therefore, at the beginning of the 20th century, the old bridge was replaced with a new stone one. Next to the Mittlerer Brücke is a souvenir shop of the Basel Football Club. Football Club Basel, one of the most titled clubs in the country. The club was founded in 1893 and it becomes 20th times with champions. On the other side of the bridge is the famous confectionery Leckerli Hus, where you can buy sweet souvenirs Leckerli, traditional honey cakes with nuts and candied fruit, soft caramel and many other delicious Basel delicacies. The largest Gothic church in Switzerland, St. Elizabeth's Church, is surprising in that, in addition to worship, it hosts events unusual for Catholic cathedrals, such as concerts and exhibitions, wedding receptions, and there is also a small bar in the church where you can order any alcoholic drink. The building was built according to the plans of the architect Ferdinand Stadler in the second half of the 19th century. An interesting feature of the church is the ribbed brick walls. In the 19th century, brick in Switzerland was rare and expensive. In order to save money, individual elements were often built from wood, painting them after stone. St. Elizabeth's Church is the only church among all the buildings of Stadler where there were sufficient funds for the use of expensive materials. Barfusser Kirche, Franciscan Church it used to be a church at the Franciscan Monastery, and now it houses the Historical Museum of Basel. To be more precise, this is one of his three buildings. Haus zum Hirschgarten is a branch of the Historical Museum, where antique toys, clocks, porcelain items and fine furniture are exhibited. Another building houses collection of ancient musical instruments. The Basel Historical Museum is considered one of the largest and most important museums in the country. It is included in the list of cultural heritage sites of national importance and is under state protection. Nearly 40 museums makes Basel the city with the highest concentration of museums in the country. The smallest museum is also located here. Hussesack Museum, also known as a pocket museum. You don't need to pay to visit this museum. In general, you won't even be able to visit it since the entire exposition is simply displayed in the window of the house. The museum appeared in 1995 on the personal initiative of the family living here. They were simply tired of the fact that tourists walking along the local streets constantly looked into their windows, so they decided that it would be better to look at the exhibits. The Kunsthalle, Basel's art museum, hosts exhibition of contemporary art as well as a space for an additional program that includes concerts, performances, film screenings, and other events. The Kunsthalle hosts up to 10 temporary exhibitions per year, showcasing the work of both well-known authors and emerging artists. Exhibition openings are often accompanied by performances by the authors themselves. The largest collection of art in Switzerland, open to the public, is located in the Kunstmuseum in Basel. The collection the Basel Public Art Collection has about 4,000 paintings, sculptures, installations and videos, as well as 300,000 drawings and prints from 7 centuries. Special exhibitions are held in the spacious halls of the new building, connected to the main building by an underground passage. The largest ethnographic museum in Switzerland the Museum of Cultures in Basel, Museum der Kulturen, was founded in 1893, but now it is in front of us after a series of renovations, with the last one completed in 
2011. Large planter ribbons hang in front of the museum entrance. This is a variant of modern vertical garden of cities, which has been spread all over the world in recent years. The museum showcased the arts and craft of Oceania, America, Europe, Africa, Indonesia, South Central and East Asia. In total, it stores more than 300,000 items and about 50,000 photographs. Basel has a rich cultural life, but it is also a major commercial and industrial center. Among the industries, the leading place belongs to the chemical pharmaceutical industry with such world-famous companies as Roche and Novartis. Roche is headquartered in Basel, in a newly built 170-meter skyscraper in the form of an incomplete stepped pyramid. This tallest building in Switzerland impresses by its size and unusual design for this area. As you can see, the construction of the second tower is currently underway with a plant high of 205 meters. Surprising design has a fountain, the Tingui Fountain, located on Theaterplatz Square. The fountain is a small pond with funny mechanical figures gargling and splashing water. It appeared in Basel in 1977 thanks to the sculptor Jan Tingui. Previously, this place was the stage of the old city theater. Basel SBB train station is considered one of the busiest stations in Switzerland. It serves all types of roads – suburban, domestic and international. Part of the station is owned by France and is operated by SNCF – French Railways. Not far from the railway station, here is a wide, marble sculptural composition Strasbourg Memorial. The culture depicts women with a child who are protected by an angel. This monument was presented to Basel by the city of Strasbourg in memory of the assistance provided by the inhabitants of the city during the Franco-Prussian War. The monument was created in 1895 by the sculptor Frederick August Bartholdi. Basel is also the university city of Switzerland. The University of Basel is the oldest university in Switzerland founded in 1460. And the botanical garden, located next to one of the buildings, is one of the oldest in the world. It appeared at the end of the 16th century. Our trip to Basel is coming to an end for today. Preparing this video, I was amazed how often I had to use the superlative adjectives. The most beautiful gate, the largest Gothic church, the largest and most important museum, the largest collection of art objects, the largest ethnographic museum, the oldest university, the highest building, the busiest train station, and it's all about Basel. What do you think? Is Basel indeed the best city in Switzerland? Or maybe in the world? Leave comments, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to like this video. See you very soon. Bye-bye.